Isaiah chapter 46, verse 9, and it reads, Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasures. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. The Lord said He already declared it already. Everything is going on today, yesterday, so forth and so on. The Lord said he declared it already, man. He declared the end from the beginning, man. So everything that you see going on right about now, it's, it's already, it's, I mean, it was already orchestrated by the God of the Bible. And we're rejoicing in it. We're rejoicing. We're rejoicing in the evils. We're rejoicing in the plagues. We're rejoicing in the destruction. We're rejoicing in the love waxing cold. We're, we're rejoicing in all the chaos, the mayhem. We, we say it all the time. We were just rejoicing right about now. This is the day that the Lord declared. You can't turn back the hands of time. You can't bring back 1985 when, when America was more, more peaceful and loving. No, no. The Lord declared it already. He declared the wars. The famines, the storms, the earthquakes. He declared the end from the beginning. So ain't nobody changing nothing. That's why it's a fearful thing to fall. Your yeah, shit. Our our pretty much our lives are already ordered already. What's gonna happen from day to day? Every second, every millisecond of another second, every hour, every day, every week, every year has been orchestrated already. So look, there's no such thing as free will. No such thing as free will. We're at the end of this place, man. Let's read it again. Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, who they're going to call God. And there is none else. That's, what, that's why the scriptures say we're supposed to praise the Lord. Matter of fact, I'm going to get something and I'm going to come right back. I want to get something right quick. Just, just, just bear with me. Psalms, Salakia. Psalms. 96, let's just get it right quick and I'm going to come right back. And remember, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. Look, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. Anytime, anytime a power is so great that he, de he declared the end from the beginning, he declared what everything was going to be. Who was going to be doing this? Who was going to be doing that? That's why, it's, that's why it says this right here, Psalm chapter 96. A quick little lesson through the spirit. Psalm chapter 96, verse, uh, let's see. Verse 4. For the Lord, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who the ignorant called Jesus, is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods because these gods, these idols, didn't declare the end from the beginning. Our power did. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob declared the end from the beginning. You see, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, made the heavens, right? So let's go back. Just a, just a quick little read through the spirit, Isaiah 46 and 9 again. Remember the former things of old. For I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. The things that ain't even came to pass, he already declared it already. So it's most definitely going to come to pass. Remember, these words don't go off void. These words are not being prolonged anymore. And plus, it was for um, a certain season. Just like you got winter, spring, summer, fall, they come, they come in their perspective orders, right? Just like the prophecies, man. None of them are going to fail. You see? Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. 
saying, my counsel shall stand. What's the counsel of the Lord? This word, this Bible, the words of the Bible, man. All right. My counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasures. Meaning what? Ain't nobody stopping nothing. That, that's why we always go through that scripture. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the eleven power. Let, let's get, just get Isaiah 45 right quick. Let's just get that right quick. Because the Lord control. Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? He declared it already, man. What is that? Um, Isaiah 45. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade me. We're doing videos each and every day. And it's the Lord orchestra. See, the Lord declared this already from the beginning that we were going to be doing videos. That we was going to be on the highways and byways condemning Babylon. I'm saying condemning two-thirds, condemning these heathens, prophesying of war, evil. The Lord been, been declared that, right? This is Isaiah 45. And seven, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. He declared, he declared it from the beginning, man. You see? From the beginning, man, before time even existed. The Heavenly Father was there, the Ancient of Days, man, declaring stuff before it even came to pass, man. That's why, that's why we must fear. That's why we must fear. Let's get this. This is Psalms. Man, I'm just all, man, the Lord is getting down too, man. Bear with me. This is Psalms chapter 118. Psalm chapter um Psalm chapter one eighteen. Let's see. Psalm chapter one eighteen verse twenty four. Let's see. Matter of fact, I uh, I started twenty three. Psalm chapter one eighteen verse twenty three. This is the Lord's doing. The wars, the rumors of wars, the earthquakes. Remember, the Lord said He's gonna bring storms, floods. Things, things, thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, storms, earthquakes, things of that nature. Listen to this, Psalms 118 and 23. This is the Lord's doing, man. The Lord is doing everything. It is marvelous in our eyes. Seeing the Lord work his work is marvelous in our eyes, man. Seeing the dealings of Yahweh by Shemashah, we're, we're marveling at it. And we only see but a little of his works, man. You see? This is, this is the day which the Lord have made. See? This day was already created. This is the day that the Lord made. And he's going to do whatever he wants through the whole day. You see? He, he going to have you will. Look, man, he control the kings, man. We're we, we going we gonna to get that too. This is the day which the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh have made. We, re, we will rejoice and be glad in it, man. No matter what happened. It's already ordained. And it's the day that the Lord created. So he, he going to do whatever the hell he wants to. Remember, he's in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases, man. You see? This is the day which the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, man. And while we're here, can continue to keep that fear. Continue to keep the fear of the Lord in you, man. I forgot what scripture I was getting ready to get. Bear with me. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, save the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Remember, he already declared it already. You see, before time even existed, man, this was already declared, man. His counsel is standing. You see, the word of the Lord is sure. It, it doesn't go out void. Uh, are not these things happening on the face of the earth right about now? Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord already declared what you're going to be doing, what we're going to be doing before time even existed, man. All right? The Lord is controlling our very thoughts. The Lord is controlling everything. Everything, man. Remember, the Father of Spirits. Let's get this again. 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. 
I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. And is that not happening? As I make this video, is that not happening in Israel? You see? A, a, whole, a whole lot going on. Matter of fact, that's, this, this, this is what I wanted. I wanted that Proverbs. I, I, I wanted that Proverbs. Remember, the Lord said he, he does whatever he want to do, right? The Lord does whatever the hell he want to do. What, what man going to say? We're, we're fle flesh, you know what I'm saying? Ashes, ashes and dirt down here. Proud is on no what? Proud is on no what? What is it? Um, is this the one I want? Yeah, look, look, look at this. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind. Let's just click on it. I don't want you to be able to say you didn't see it. Let's click on it. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 1. The king's heart, meaning his mind. Is in the hand of the Lord. You see, the Lord already declared his counsel are going to stand, man. I mean, ain't nobody doing nothing. The Lord is controlling them, the man's mind. You see, the king's heart, meaning his mind, is in the hand of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's a fearful thing right there. When someone actually controlling your mind, someone can actually make you jump in front of a car. Someone can actually, the God of the Bible, that's what I'm talking about, can actually make you go in a building. Get on the elevator, go up to the top of that building, get on the roof, and dive off that MF, -er, man. All right? You see, the Lord can make you get in your car, you know what I'm saying, and go on a, and, just, and just drive to the speeds of 130, you know what I'm saying, and just drive off a damn cliff or a bridge, man. All right? The Lord controls your mind. You see, the real puppet master. Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart. So the Lord is controlling everything. He controlling man's mind. He controlling if a storm come, if a flood. Matter of fact, we'll get that too. <clears throat> Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. And as the, ri and as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So when, when the Lord want these devils, you know what I'm saying, to mash that button, you know what I'm saying, and shoot them noose off, they're going to do it. Okay, they're going to do it, man. It ain't no free will. What part of that? Don't you people understand? It ain't no free will, man. All right? The Lord controlling every aspect of everything, man. The Lord, the Lord controlling everything. Isaiah 29. Isaiah chapter 29. Verse 6. Isaiah chapter 29. Verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, not a nice guy, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Look, the Lord controlling insects and everything. Got these um three-inch crickets, you know what I'm saying, out there in the Midwest, eating up every damn thing. The Lord's controlling all that, everything, man. Don't a leaf fall from a tree, and that's a sanction by the Heavenly Father, man. All right, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus, man. And they're greatly to be feared. I, I read that earlier. Remember, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, man. Hell, the Lord, no sin, put this devil, man. Let's get this right quick. Let's get Daniel. Let's just get Daniel right quick. What is it, Daniel? Um, the fourth chapter, let's see. I think it's Daniel 4 and 17. Bear with me. Well, look, look, no, more reasons on why we should fear the God of the Bible. Just, just more reasons, man. All right? Yep. Let's get this. Daniel chapter 4, verse 17, and it reads, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones. To the intent that the living may know. Aren't you alive? Aren't you down here on earth living? That the living may know. Each and every last, last one of us, right? To the intent that the living may know. That the Most High, Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, He saves, He delivers, who you ignorantly call Jesus, ruleth in the kingdom of men. So ain't nobody running nothing. Ain't no man on earth running nothing. The Lord running everything. 
He ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it, it to whomsoever he will. Whoever the Lord wants to, and the phone chimed in, whoever the Lord wants to rule, and I know you heard it, whoever the Lord wants to rule the earth, they're going to rule the earth, man. Why? Because his counsel stands, all right? His counsel stands, right? And give it, it to whomsoever he will, right? And set it up over it, the basis of men. Remember, going right back to Job 9, 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, right? The, the Lord is willing the mind of this devil, man, of sleazy eat the elites, man, to come in with great wrath because they only know, they know that they only got a short time to rule. You see, the Lord already declared no sense bounds that he can't pass, right? The, the Lord already know that it's a specific date where this devil going to go down and Israel is going to take over. Starting off with our head, Lord Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12, and the men on down. This is a beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord declared. This is the day that the Lord declared, and we're rejoicing in it. I, I just read it. Psalms 118. Psalms chapter 118, and what was it? Um, Verse 23 and 24. Go, go back and read that. You see? And we're rejoicing in it. We're one day closer. That's why the scripture says it's hot time to wake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. The Lord is controlling our thoughts, our ways, our goings, everything. Whatever we do throughout the day, the Lord is controlling it. That's why we got to constantly pray, you know what I'm saying, to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to order our way aright in righteousness, man. You see? Take, take not thy Holy Spirit. Go, going right back to Psalms um, 51. Matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Let's just go ahead and get it right quick. And the phone chiming in for real, for real. This is Psalm chapter 51. Bear with me. Quick little read. Uh, or just, just fear the Lord even more, man. Especially when they're controlling everything. They, look, his counsel shall stand. Remember that, Israel. Psalms 51. Let's see. Um... I'm going to just hit the point. Let's see. Psalms um, 51. And I started nine. Hide thy face from my sins. Our transgressions, our breaking of the laws, right? This is King David. This is a prayer, right? And blot out all mine iniquities. Our sin upon sin, our wickedness, right? We want the Lord to blot it out, but we must repent. And then the thing about it, the Lord has to put his spirit. The Lord is cold. The Lord has to put his spirit on you to repent, to turn back and pray a prayer like this. You see? Hide thy face from my sins with a sin transgressing of the law and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, a pure mind, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. We don't want to be the same way we was when we was in the world. Okay, we don't want to act the same way, right? It says, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit, the Rekakwadash, from me. The Spirit, you know what I'm saying, that has us to understand what we're reading. We don't, we don't want that to happen, man. We pray constantly. We're begging Yahweh Bashim Shah to not take that Rekakwadash from us. Because without that, we can't understand the truth. We can't understand the knowledge, wisdom, understand the scripture. We didn't see the Lord take people out, man. You see, and bug them the hell out, man, to where they don't even believe in the scriptures no more. They, they don't have no hope anymore, man. You see? Let's see. And then that's it on that. Oh, no, no, 13. Then will I teach transgressors, you know what I'm saying, the, the Israelites that are breaking the laws. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee, man. That, that's why we preach the word. That the Israelites that hear this word may repent and turn back and be converted and be healed. But it's all the Lord's doing. It's up to the Lord who converts, who turns back, who repents. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And I got one more and then I'm going to close. Like I said before, just something quick through the spirit. Lord, one of the elect is edified. This is down the book of Sirach. Let's see. Come on now. Hate when this phone do that. Bear with me, Israel. This is Sirach chapter 23. Let's jump on down at the bottom. Sirach chapter 23. Let's see. 
Sirach chapter 23, verse 27, also known as Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha, right? And they that remain, meaning the elect of the nation of Israel, right, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. The, when the smoke clears, you see all that death and destruction, man, come on, man. You're going to know that there was nothing better than to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, because the, the Israelites and these heathens that don't fear the God of the Bible, going to be destroyed, man. You see? So, so the elect of the nation of Israel are going to know without a shadow of a doubt, you know what I'm saying, that it was nothing better, nothing at all. Remember, the beginning of wisdom is fearing the Lord. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing, absolutely nothing better than the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Because remember, this is the whole duty of man. Taking heed to the words of the Bible, this is the whole duty of the Israelite man, woman, and child, right? When you see the Lord F these people up, they didn't fear the God of the Bible, they didn't fear Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, you're going to know there was nothing better than to fear the Lord. Lord willing, we off that number, we're going to know without a shadow of a doubt. Hey, we know it now. But how much more in this day, though, man? It is great glory. It is great glory to follow the Lord. It's an honor for you. How about Shemia Shai to put their spirits on us to repent and follow them? It's great glory, man. It's an honor. It's truly a privilege. You see, don't take this thing lightly. Lord be telling me this each and every day since I'm making a video much more for me. And the listeners out there, do not take this grace period for granted, man. You see, the Lord put the, the spirit on you to fear him, then you fear him, man. You see, it is a great glory to follow the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Our people think, our people look at it as being evil. That's why the Lord said, Lord, if it seemed evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you, choose you this day, who are you going to serve? And then the thing about it, you can't even choose. The Lord was just being facetious, man. You can't choose who you want to serve. The Lord's cold, man. And he received, so like, and to be received of him is long life. And for the Lord to receive us is a long life, man. Because the Israelites that stray away from him are going to be destroyed. And I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I'm saying, this is a quick little lesson through the spirit. The Lord already declared the end from the beginning. So the wars, the storms, the floods, all these deletions, the economy crashing, this place burning to a crisp. The Lord already declared it, man. All these heathen nations going to World War III, all that has been declared already. These heathens going into captivity, all that has been declared already. So ain't nobody stopping nothing, man. We rejoice in this day, man. We're, we're glad. We're rejoicing right about now, man. Going right back to Psalms 118. Matter of fact, I'm going to read. I'm going to go back and read that one more time. Let's just read that one more time. It's a quick read. This is Psalms. Bear with me. Remember, walk circumspectly, not as fools. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, let's just get Habakkuk right quick. Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision, meaning the prophecies, is yet for an appointed time. Remember, he declared the end from the beginning. So everything is going to come to pass. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak. And we are speaking loud and clear. That's how you know we're at the end. And not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So, 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 so it seemed like the words you know what I'm ain't coming to pass. But they are. The Lord said, though it tarry, and the word tarry means to wait, because for an appointed season, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, because it's the counsel of the Lord, and it's going to stand, man. So let's get this right quick. This is Psalms. It's a quick read. Everything that's happening, the Lord already wrote it down already. Declared everything that's happening right now. From the beginning, Psalms 118. This is Psalm chapter 118. We'll start at 23. 
This is the Lord's doing. This is the Lord's movie, right? It is marvelous in our eyes, man. See these chariot sightings. Just seeing the Lord, no say, perform his work, man. It is marvelous. We're standing in awe at how the Lord is doing his due, man. We're standing in awe right about now. My wide open. You see, the Lord is actually letting us see him work, man. It says, um, this is the day which the Lord have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, man. You see, no, no matter what happens, let's just rejoice. And then the thing about it, we're one day closer to the end of this kingdom, man. All right? And a righteous one is coming. Remember, the Lord already declared it already. A new heaven and a new earth which dwelleth in righteousness. He already declared it already. So it's coming. Just wait for it. Though it tarry, wait for it. For it will surely come. This is the Lord's doing. Shalom.